Hello, Daniel Yuck here. Thank you for tuning in today. I appreciate you. In today's video, I want to go over the differences between quality stencil paper and a more generic stencil paper. If you have any questions at any point throughout this video, I encourage you to drop a comment down below. I will do my absolute best to assist you in the best possible direction. I will also leave links for you for the gear that you see here in this video in the description below so you can check it out on your end. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring that bell for me as I'm going to be posting more videos like this for you all. I do also have social medias under the same name as this YouTube channel. I would truly appreciate the support over there as well. I do have Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. If you enjoy my channel and find my content helpful, consider becoming a Patreon or sending over a super thanks as I would greatly appreciate your support. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive straight on into this. On the left right here, I have a sheet of spirit stencil paper and on the right right here, I have an off brand, a no name sheet of stencil paper right here. And off the bat, we can see some apparent differences. Let me know in the comment section down below what are some of the differences that you spot off the bat. For me personally, it's definitely the paper. The grain of the paper is completely different. You can see this one is a bit more spotty throughout where this one looks a lot more complete and a little bit more refined so to speak. Another thing that I am noticing is that the spirit stencil paper has a like off-white tone to it and it's probably because of this paper that's under it where the generic paper has a more vibrant white to it and it's probably because the original paper in the middle was white unlike the spirit stencil paper where it was like a hemp sort of color. Here we are completely zoomed in at a side-by-side -side view. The left is the spirit stencil paper and the right is the generic stencil paper there and you can see that there is apparent differences right off the bat let's take a close look here at the stencil papers you can see at the back this yellow paper is a lot more vibrant than this one right here and it looks as though some of the carbon is coming through on the back end on the generic type of paper and that could be just from maybe the other stencil paper sitting on top which is this one i, I don't know for sure how this necessarily got there but that's the back of the generic paper this is the back of the spirit stencil paper it is a dramatic difference let's take a close-up look at the stencil papers themselves so this one right here is the generic version and this is the generic version all the way through so you have this sheet of white paper and this paper right here feels a lot more shiny as you can see it does have a glare on it where the spirit stencil paper I don't think we're going to see that here is this middle paper and here is the carbon sheet along with the backing there for me personally I don't like it when the paper has that shine to it when the paper has that sort of smooth texture I would prefer the spirit stencil paper texture and allow me to show you that up close so this is the spirit stencil paper right here and the texture behind here isn't as smooth the this sort of like grainy felt right here it does carry over on both sides of the paper although this side is a little bit smoother than this side this is the sort of grain that i'm looking for right here it has a more of a tissue like feel to it over the generic stencil paper it has more of a paper like feel to it that's a, like a smooth paper like feel. One thing that I want to point out is that both of these stencil papers do their jobs, meaning they do transfer designs. However, they both do them differently. From my personal experience with the generic unnamed stencil paper, it was more of a hit or miss. Not every design printed it through and through not every single burn was in there nice and clean sometimes some lines were lighter so much so that most of the lines will look incomplete depending on the design that it was where on the stencil paper side uh, the spirit stencil paper I've never had those issues everything comes out real nice and clean and the design I can capture a lot of details as well with the spirit stencil paper versus the generic stencil paper another thing that I personally experienced with the generic stencil paper is when I first started 
started, I used to have to draw in my designs by hand and it was really difficult for me to get a design that was clean and workable. I was never really happy with my tattoo designs when I was using the generic stencil paper to draw in designs by hand. I would say the spirit stencil paper is a lot more easier to work with when we're going to be drawing in designs by hand. I would say all around though, in terms of performance, the spirit stencil paper outperforms most stencil papers that I've used. And keep in mind, I am speaking more in terms of like a thermal print context. We're not talking about inkjet printers, we're talking about the thermal side of printing and or the freehand design of making a tattoo stencil. I do feel that it's important to know the differences between generic stencil paper and spirit stencil paper and the type of results and adversities we can experience when using one or, or the other. Here we have the spirit stencil paper. These are the exact same designs. They are just printed on different stencil papers. On the left is the spirit stencil paper and on the right is the generic no name stencil paper. One thing that I feel is important to also note is that there are different types of tattooing stencil papers. So if we're using a thermal printer, then we're gonna wanna get a stencil paper that is designed for thermal printing. If we're gonna be doing a lot of freehand designs and drawing them in, then we're going to want to get a stencil paper that is designed around freehand and drawing in our tattoo stencils. I wanted to make this video to bring a comparison in general for the differences between a quality stencil paper versus a generic stencil paper. Right off the bat with this example right here, we could clearly see that within the spirit stencil paper, there is a lot more detailed captured than the generic stencil paper right here. What I wanna do is I actually want to open these up and show you them so that way we can take a look at what was actually captured on the stencils here. Let me know in the comment section down below some apparent differences that you see right here. And again, the left is the spirit stencil paper and on the right is the generic. Some of the differences that I spot are the line weights, they actually do vary, although we can still make out the line weights right here and we can still use this stencil. I feel it'd be better to have that stencil nice, clean, crispy, and easy to read because right here, these are not only uh, varying in line weights from here to here you can see that they do vary a little bit they do get thinner versus these over here are thicker on the spirit stencil paper they also get lighter so some of the details right here are a lot lighter on the generic versus the spirit stencil paper up here as well you can see that these lines are a lot lighter versus these right here for me personally anytime i place down a stencil i want a clean readable stencil all the way through and i want to let it dry in there so that way when i am applying the tattoo i don't lose my stencil another thing that i'm noticing is that the spirit stencil paper is a lot more saturated than the generic stencil paper so in theory what that means to me is when i place this down the chances of losing the spirit stencil versus the generic stencil are a lot less likely. It's a lot more likely that I'm gonna lose the generic stencil before I would the spirit stencil just because of how saturated the spirit stencil paper actually is versus the generic. Now here is the spirit stencil paper close up. And you can see everything is easy to read, clean and crispy. This is a totally workable stencil that is gonna come out and be a great tattoo and over here on the right the generic stencil paper 
you can see that it is a bit more eye squinting so to speak i have to kind of squint in certain areas to kind of figure out what i'm going to do in certain areas this area right here versus this area over here is a lot more trickier you can see that the tiger's mouth is a lot more saturated as well versus over here but these are the differences between generic stencil paper and quality stencil paper and the generic stencil paper is very very patchy and that patchiness was the downfall for me using this paper right here this is why i stopped using this sort of paper is because every time i made a stencil it was just so inconsistent i could print the same stencil 10 times and all of these lighter areas are going to show up in different areas each and every time sometimes these may be more darker and these little details in there would be non-existent sometimes these lines over here would be really really light you get the idea so with the generic stencil paper the performance is unpredictable where we have a more quality stencil paper such as the spirit stencil paper you can see that it's pretty much consistent each and every time we print. I can always expect full saturation when I print with the Spirit Stencil paper. Another thing that I wanted to touch base on real quick is when we try to draw in stencils with a more generic stencil paper, the design may not come out to our liking and this can be rather discouraging. So using the correct gear really does go a long way in making our workflow a lot more streamlined and smoother. If we can get a more crispy clean saturated tattoo stencil why wouldn't we that is always my logic so I want to use this pen right here and I kind of just want to draw a little heart right here on this stencil paper to demonstrate how it catches on the generic stencil paper and how it catches on spirit stencil paper and all I'm gonna do is just simply draw a heart and I'm gonna make sure that I really get it down on there to see how well it catches And draw a heart and then I'm also gonna write my name here and with my name all I'm gonna do is write it once and I'm not gonna go over it and work the design up because with a generic stencil paper one thing that I used to always have to do is work each design up so now I'll have to go back and make these darker you get the idea so I'm using pretty much the same thing on the spirit stencil paper and I want to show you how that works with the generic and a quality stencil paper. So this is the generic stencil paper results right here. And I know that you can't see them, but nothing transferred. Let me see if I can zoom in more here one moment. Here you have a close up look and you can see literally nothing transferred, just bits and pieces like on the A and on the N, all sporadically here and there. So you can see, and I did put down a fair amount of pressure and you can see this heart as well, didn't transfer at all. So now I would have to go back in and really carve this design in there so that way I can get some stencil here to transfer it onto the skin and even when I do it could still be potentially patchy just because of how patchy it is right here so that is a close-up view you can see that nothing caught all those darker spotted areas are the only places where the stencil caught Let's take a close-up look at the spirit stencil paper so you can see with the spirit stencil paper it is a dramatic difference this is just about workable almost everything transferred that I implemented with the pin this one does look a lot more darker and saturated than the generic stencil there and that's another point that i wanted to make that if we're going to be drawing in designs by hand then we may want to consider getting a stencil paper that is dedicated for drawing in freehanding designs i felt that it was a good point to make and share the differences between a more quality stencil paper and a more generic stencil paper there are in fact differences they both definitely do work we can get stencils from both depending on how you want your workflow to be i would recommend so always try to go and invest into what is around your specific wants and needs as a tattoo artist meaning if you're going to be doing designs like this for example and you're going to be using a thermal printer then get a tattoo stencil paper that is designed for thermal printing if you're going to be freehanding doing lettering or doing just freehand designs then get a tattoo stencil paper that is dedicated to freehanding investing into a more quality tattoo paper is a better way to go long term especially if we want our tattoo experience to go as 
as smooth as possible, I would highly encourage you to invest into a quality tattoo stencil paper versus the generic tattoo stencil paper. If you have any questions at all, I'm going to encourage you to drop a comment down below. I will do my absolute best to assist you in the best possible direction. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring that bell for me as I'm going to be bringing more videos like this for you all. I do also have social medias under the same name as this YouTube channel. I have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I would truly appreciate the support over there as well, all under Daniel Yuck. If you find my channel helpful and enjoy my videos, consider becoming a Patreon or sending over a super thanks as I would greatly appreciate your support. Thank you for your time. I appreciate you tuning in. You have a great day.